Hi, equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to today's video. And I was searching on Pinterest and I found this really cool recipe for a DIY serum to help your horse's tail and mane grow faster. And I figured Frisbee has a very fine tail. I figured I would make some and share it with you. It's really simple to make. You just need a few ingredients. You need some castor oil. Castor oil is the major component of this. Coconut oil. And I like this one because of the container it came in. You'll also need some neem oil. And then if you want, you can add some essential oils. I chose to use some peppermint oil and frankincense. So first we have to have a container that we're going to put our tail serum in. And like I said, I really liked the container that this coconut oil came in because it has the dispenser on the top so I can just you know use the pump and put it on Frisbee's tail. So first I took the coconut oil out and then I filled probably about three quarters of the bottle full with castor oil. And castor oil makes up the majority of the oil for this serum. It's anti-inflammatory, it fights fungus, and it's a really great natural moisturizer. So this will be great for our horse's manes and tails. Then I added back in some of the coconut oil. And coconut oil helps to soften hair. It's an excellent moisturizer. Um, and it also helps to stimulate hair growth. So again, this is a great thing to add. And the last oil that I added is neem oil. Now neem oil is a natural insecticide. It also reduces inflammation, supports hair growth, and softens hair without making it feel greasy. So that's perfect for our concoction. And it really does have kind of a strong odor, the neem oil. And that was why I decided to add some different essential oils. I love peppermint, so I did peppermint oil and then frankincense. Frankincense is actually really good for your skin too, so I figured it's not gonna hurt anything. And then I just blended everything together, screwed the top back on, and presto, I have tail serum for Frisbee. But I wanted to make sure that nobody was going to mistake this tail serum for coconut oil, even though it is dark brown. So I just used a Sharpie and I wrote tail serum on the label and tried my best to draw a horse's tail right down the middle. And because the oil will be living in my barn, I'm fairly confident no one is going to confuse this tail serum for anything else other than for using it on my horses. And just in case you do want to make your own tail serum, I'll make sure to leave the links of the products that I used in the description box below in case you want to try it out for yourself. Now can you see why I like that dispenser so much? I can just put some of the oil on my hands and then just go put it on Frisbee's tail. And when you're applying the oil, you really wanna make sure to get in where your horse's tailbone is. Don't just lay it on top because that's not really gonna do anything, but you really wanna get down where his tailbone is and really massage that oil in. It does make his tail nice and shiny, so you can put it on the outer hair too, but really to get the benefit of it, you really wanna massage it into the dock and into the tailbone itself. It's not greasy, it's not oily, and it's absorbed pretty quickly. I've only been doing this for about a week or so on Frisbee, so it's really hard to see, you know, some huge drastic improvement. His tail looks really pretty, I can tell you that, but it's gonna take some time to see if there is any improvement in the quality of his hair as well as how long his tail is and how full it is. But he has really fine hair, that was why I decided to try this out.
and it really does make your horse's tail nice and shiny. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other horse related and DIY videos. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.